Hey guys, Ghetto 470 here with a quick overview of my kitchen slash cargo door area. Um, I've been wanting to do a video on this for a while just because it's taken me a while to finally get um, my cargo kitchen area the way I wanted to. So just wanted to highlight a few products that kind of make it stand out as well as just kind of how I got it going. Um, Cause the whole theme of this channel is, you know, budget friendly, DIY, that kind of thing. So anyways, um, so first I'll start up with the table. So the table is about a half inch thick, um, about 30 inches wide um, by a foot uh, long. And um, that was about the dimensions uh, for the table. So the whole build was less than 30 bucks. Um, it, it was not that hard to do. A uh, few themes that I wanted to do was just uh, make sure that I didn't have to take this panel off <laughs> to do it. I really didn't want to do that. I didn't want to wear on the plastic strips there. Um, so I really just wanted it to be simple, you know, kind of bolt on. So I ended up going with these cargo, uh, brackets, which were about 10 bucks on Amazon. Um, and then the cool thing is, you guys might be able to see here, you're able to screw in the table. So the cool thing about that is if I mess this table up real bad, or I just don't like it, or I want to change the color or whatever, I could just unscrew. It's three on each side and take it off and replace it if i want maybe a slightly longer table because it looks like i probably could reach a little bit lower uh, i could do that now as for the mounting i used expansion nuts bolts also called well nuts uh, basically pre-drilled holes and then uh, put them in and the way that they work is they're kind of like rubber rivets really uh, in application when you put them on the other side and then you bolt in uh, the bolt it'll expand and rubber is naturally vibration and like sound reducing so I figured it would uh, be be basically like less wear um, you know against the the hard plastic the plastic is pretty hard but uh, I don't know uh, I was I wasn't too sure about you know steel metal on plastic so so far it's been absolutely great I've put a you know I've had a whole like kitchen load on here you know I've had a lot more items I've had food I've had, you know, eggs, potatoes, onions, like everything kind of going at the same time. And this has never been uh, peeling out or kind of like stretching out. So it's so far uh, been really great. Now, the other cool thing is it does leave me some room under here to kind of fit stuff. Um, so I have, ironically, <laughs> put another cargo net uh, because this was actually cheaper and more simple to do um, than just replacing uh, these uh, you know the mesh backing now I couldn't find them cheaper than like 75 bucks on eBay So that would also require me to take off the panel, which I wanted to avoid completely So the whole set for these nets was about 15 It was like 14 to 18 bucks depends what sizes you get um, all, all the links to the products by the way are gonna be in the description and slash bio uh, it's to my spreadsheet that I created uh, with some <clears throat> Amazon affiliate links there um, so that way you know you guys can basically mimic this if that's what you want so basically just screwed in uh, these you know bungee bracket or bungee holders and then that keeps the whole thing kind of together uh, I just have like some heat resistant gloves some cozies here my foil and then behind there I have like some random stuff like this, uh, pretty cool USB charger it's rusted I don't know how it was never wet but um, anyways it's like this USB piezo lighter so this is actually really useful if for whatever reason the piezo lighter on the gas one stove doesn't work but anyways got a can opener there meat temperature gauge got some gloves so I don't have to wipe my hands or wash my hands and just some other ways to start fires lighters and stuff like that so um, really good quality I like this more than some of the other solutions I saw like some I think front runner does like you know a, a pouch thing where you kind of latch on there and yeah I don't know I just didn't have the space or the dimensions I wanted so 
that's kind of why I went with that. And then it's pretty much more the same over here. Different size netting. Um, this netting is just holding like a hand washing uh, table here to hand wash any clothes or any like, you know, towels. And I just have some microfiber towels here. And then for the paper towel holder, it didn't go too fancy. It just uses two missing holes from the tools to hold this bungee cord and this works well enough and then behind it I have hidden it's this is gonna be kind of hard to see but you guys might be able to make out there is another net bracket back there which holds some reusable uh, ziploc bags so yeah that's basically the bottom and now on to the top uh, so this stove these stoves I really like because for whatever reason they're cheaper than the dual burner and they always seem to come with a piezo lighter which i feel like is basic but for whatever reason those double burners don't so yeah i i would rather cook on this and even though it's only one burner burning at like 8000 btu i still prefer it with this whole griddle setup because when i'm cooking um, i basically have like a main area right here where i'm cooking and when i'm done with something i just kind of like move it off to the side similar to a scottle uh, from Timbo Tusk, which um, which is kind of like one of the selling points they have is like while you're cooking, you can push other items to warm them up. I could basically do that here for a fraction of the cost. So um, I really like that feature. Like for instance, for one morning, I had like egg, sausage, bacon, that kind of thing going. And once I was done with the main item, I moved them aside. So I had done potatoes, moved them aside, sprinkled some cheese. It was just hot enough that it was like melting it, but not too hot that it was cooking it. And then I just kind of had my other little things going on to the side. So I actually really, really like the system. Um, and I guess we'll focus a little bit here on the gas one. I really like it because it's dual butane propane um if for anybody who's ever been camping you'll know that uh you know if you've ever had to like dip in and get some more fuel um some places they have either or you know they don't necessarily have both so just having that option is really cool so that's partly why i selected this one i also like and i'll show you in a second um that the range here actually flips upside down and that what that allows it to do is actually the whole box gets to be i'll show you here is a little bit thinner than the coleman stoves which are a bit thicker and i have both so uh, i would know so anyways that's really cool and it also allows you to take it off and clean it so that's just genius you know uh, i don't know why coleman doesn't do that but anyways one of the other reasons why this is cool and then i have uh this kind of like swiss army knife it's a bit rusted um and i think they claim it's stainless steel but yeah i don't know it's rusted but it's the brand is rocks on um so yeah it's the painting's already coming off but anyways it's kind of like a swiss army knife uh these have like a liner lock for my edc guys there you should know what that is um basically oh, i'm failing at this right now okay there you go you just fold it like that and then it folds into place and then i'm going to try and do this with one hand because this is locked there we go bam and then we get one of these and then it actually will like i'll have to use again one handed here basically goes in like that and then it connects in place so that's pretty cool and then of course you got your little spatula which is really great for cleaning the grill just like being able to you know scrape it down um again we got a liner lock here so i'm gonna try to mimic that and closes in place makes a satisfying sound put it in here and bada bing bada boom you just click it in place i said you just click it and pull it oh geez all right anyways i think you guys get it so <laughs> uh that's that so this is pretty cool it's compact fits it has its own like little carrying case so it's pretty cool it's it's pretty much everything i need to cook um i've had this what would you call i guess grill <laughs> i don't know i've had it for a while it, it's pretty awesome i use it for everything aside from soups and stuff um i've had it for a while and yeah it's pretty cool so anyways moving this off to the side so i wanted to showcase that feature i was talking about about the range being able to flip over I'm actually going to hold this in place. It's already tipping. But anyway, flips over like that to lie flat. And of course, you can take it off to, you know, 
clean. So that's pretty cool. Um, and then behind it, behind it here is just like a guard, a wind guard. Not that you really need it because the GX, this is what I love about the barn door setup, is you have, you know, that kind of L shape blocking it. So really you just need to worry about, you know, over here. Um, so anyways, that's pretty nice. So what I'm actually gonna do is move this over. Because eventually I wanna show you guys how this table flips. And um, yeah, so this is that guard, again, camp clean. <laughs> not that clean but yeah it's camp clean anyway so we're gonna move this over here and then I just wanted to showcase you know kind of like how the setup would look you know proportionately with your typical cup and plates and all that and this thing's actually pretty cool I've used this quite a few times to make like margaritas um, you know mixed drinks salsa nothing beats fresh salsa man it, it, it really does these these little like quality of life things really make the difference um, when you're out camping so this thing it's usb-c powered and you pretty much just battery life is pretty good but i notice if it is low it won't crush things like ice you also can't pack it in too much i pretty much never fill it up past here uh because yeah it just won't be able to spin so anyways super cool product i uh, love battery powered stuff because you just have to rely on a portable bank and you're good so really like that and then finally just wanted to show this thing in action um and how it closes so basically you hit one of these boils right here that's one side and then the other of course you could do this with two hands it comes down faster and then bam it is flush so it looks pretty nice i think try to go with the gray laminated so it sort of matches the door um and then you got the little eyes peeking in Ooh. um so anyways yeah that's pretty much my cargo slash kitchen setup Again, 30 bucks to build that table. Pretty cool. Um, really enjoy it. I'll probably do like a more in-depth uh, review later on. There's some other products I wanna show um, that I think are pretty cool. Actually, one last thing, now that I talk about it, is this little light here. So it's kind of hard to see it come on, but it has um, some different lighting modes that basically, it has three, basically. It has a day auto, so it Pretty much if it senses motion, it'll turn on. Uh, and then you have always on, of course, which has it always on. And then night auto, which is my favorite because it, it, it uses two sensors being the motion sensor to see if somebody's nearby and then the light sensor to see if it's actually dark enough to warrant. So for instance, if you notice, even though there's motion here, it's not turning on, that's because it senses the light. So this is pretty cool. Uh, it's USB-C powered, which is pretty neat. And it's also magnetic, so it comes off. And if I walk over here and wanna, I don't know, let's say we're chilling over here, I can attach it over here and bam, we have light. Um, it is pretty neat in that it comes with three different temperature settings, uh, white, uh, kind of like mid, I think like 5,000 Kelvin. And then the mode that I usually keep it on is 3,500. It's just because it looks warmer and nice. Um, so yeah, just, I guess a bonus little item for us there. But anyways, that has been my cargo door. So thanks again for watching. Again, all the affiliate links are going to be uh, in the description slash bio slash spreadsheet in my bio. So yeah, take a look at any of that if uh, you guys want to purchase any of these things. So anyways, take care. Thanks again.